And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Well, the leftovers of that Big Plains outbreak going on right now will pass tomorrow morning as a weakening line of storms. It's still not out of the question. A couple strong to severe gusts could occur with that line uh, and or a little bit of pea sized tail in a few places. Then the sun comes out, it heats up and we've got storms that fire up in the afternoon and into the evening on what's going to be a windy humid day with highs anywhere from 76 to 83 warmest down here in our southwest 82 at Petersburg 79 towards Lafayette and Fowler but 77 at Logansport and we'll get up to about 78 at Galveston on Wednesday you know after it cools to about 57 with some patchy fog Tuesday night Wednesday morning the sun comes back out and then we've got storms later on in the day on what's going to be a breezy to windy one and a high of 83 degrees as after the storms that we have tomorrow afternoon and evening and that cold front goes south it comes back north as a warm front so the warmth comes back in 81 Monticello 78 up here around Kiwana and around Madaryville and about 81 at Fowler 80 degrees at Kentland. Now we are still in a slight risk for severe tomorrow and then it's slight to enhanced on Wednesday. This is tomorrow. You can see the enhanced area just east of our area, but for us, we're in that yellow. That's a two out of five on the scale means scattered severe storms. Most of that is in the two to 8 PM time frame tomorrow. But again, like we talked about in the morning, the weakening line coming through between nine and about one. Uh, but the two to eight one could have a few severe gusts, some hail, some large hail and a tornado or two can't be ruled out along with some locally heavy rainfall. Now on Wednesday, it's slight to enhanced over the area. The enhanced or three out of five is in the south. Rest of the area is slight with all severe hazards on the table. I will tell you that some of the new data is still trying to push this timing back a little bit. It may be like six to midnight potentially. And another interesting thing I've just saw in some new data literally five minutes ago, it's trying to blow up a lot of severe storms I-74 and south for one outbreak of severe weather. And then the other outbreak of severe weather is northwest Illinois to Iowa and the rest of our area doesn't get as much. We will wait and see. We'll be analyzing and just watching that data with every run that comes in tonight and into tomorrow morning. There's 930. There's the weakening line. That's around 1130. Then the sun comes out and then watch these storms flare up right here. Again, all severe hazards on the table with those. That's 430. There's six. Then they jet out of here. It gets a little cooler with some patchy fog behind that. And then we watch the storms on Wednesday flare up as well. You can see them moving eastward. But like I said, this model has them right over the area. There's some data even now that's trying to split this up into two outbreaks and a chunk of our area not getting quite as much. So we will wait and see about that on Wednesday. I still think much of the area is going to get two or more inches of rain out of this. This is going to be some locally heavy rainfall around. Those rainfall amounts go from now to Saturday and it gets cooler over the weekend with highs in the 60s and then some more showers and storms next Tuesday.